Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're answering a simple question. Is there any Linux distro better than Ubuntu? Spoiler, it depends on what you want. In this video, I'll break down real alternatives, why you might prefer them over Ubuntu, and which one I'd pick for different use cases. Let's jump in. Ubuntu is great, easy installer, massive community, tons of apps, but better isn't one size fits. If you want raw speed, total control, privacy, or the smoothest gaming experience, there are distros that beat Ubuntu in those areas. I'll walk through the top picks and the exact reasons to choose each one. First up, Linux Mint. If you like Ubuntu but want something more polished out of the box, Mint is a top choice. It's based on Ubuntu's packages. So compatibility is excellent, but Mint ships with extra codecs, a familiar desktop layout, and fewer pop. For someone switching from Windows, Mint often feels more comfortable and complete right away. Next, Poppy. Underscore OS by System76. This is my go-to recommendation for creators and gamers. It's Ubuntu-based, but tuned for performance, especially with NVIDIA GPU. It includes tiling window features, easy GPU switching, and a workflow that's optimized for productivity. If gaming or content creation is your priority, Pop Underscore OS is often better than Ubuntu for those tasks. If you want bleeding edge software in a modern development environment, consider Fedora. Fedora ships new kernels and tool chains faster than Ubuntu LTS does, and it maintains a balance between being current and stable. Many developers use Fedora because it's close to upstream technologies and has good support for developer tools. For ultimate control and performance, Arch Linux is the pick, but it's not for beginners. Arch lets you build the system you actually want with no unnecessary packages. That means it can run faster and leaner than Ubuntu, but you'll spend more time maintaining it. If you love customizing and learning how Linux works under the hood, Arch is better than Ubuntu for that experience. If stability and server-grade reliability are what you need, try Debian or Rocky Linux slash Elm. Debian is Ubuntu's parent and is super conservative with updates, which means fewer surprises, excellent for servers and environments that must stay predictable. Rocky and Alma are great if you're used to CentOS-style stability for enterprise workloads. Privacy and security-focused users should look at Cubes, OS, or Tails. Cubes isolates apps in separate virtual machines, making it much harder for malware to compromise your whole system, way more secure than standard Ubuntu. Tails is for anonymity-first use and roots everything through Tor. If privacy is your primary concern, these are better than Ubuntu. For gamers who want simplicity, Manjaro and Garuda are solid choices. Both are Arch based but come with user-friendly installers and pre-built kernels, drivers, and performance tweaks. They often deliver newer graphics stacks and better out-of-the-box gaming performance than Ubuntu without requiring ArchS steep setup. A quick practical tip. If you like Ubuntu but want to try something different without a painful switch, pop. Underscore OS and Linux Mint are excellent first experiments. ULL feel familiar, but notice workflow and performance improvements. So how do you pick? Ask yourself, do you want something that just works? Pick Mint or Pop underscore OS. Do you want cutting edge packages? Pick Fedora or Mani. Want full control and to learn deeply? Go Arch need enterprise stability. Use Debian, Rocky or Alma. Prioritize privacy. Try cubes or tails. My personal recommendation for most desktop users who want an upgrade from Ubuntu, try pub underscore OS first, better GPU handling, smoother workflow, and it keeps the Ubuntu ecosystem benefits. If you prefer a Windows-like experience with less tinkering, Linux Mint will make the transition painless. Before you go back up your data, try distros in a live USB first, and if you test more than one, use a virtual machine or create a separate partition so you don't lose anything. Switching distros is an opportunity to rethink your setup. You might find a distro that truly fits your workflow better than Ubuntu ever did. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit like, subscribe, and tell me in the comments which distro you want me to install and review next. ILL do a deep dive and show you real benchmarks, installation quirks, and tweaks. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.